Welcome everyone to today's presentation on hypnosis, as it relates to psychology. As you may recall, in our previous videos in the series, The ABCs of Psychology, we covered such topics as behaviorism, developmental and evolutionary psychology, and more. Today, we will delve into the concept of hypnosis and how it applies to psychotherapy. We will discuss the common misconceptions about hypnosis, the early theories and practices of hypnosis, and how it applies to modern psychology and to you today. So, if you are ready, let's dive right in. What is hypnosis? Hypnosis is a state of mind in which a person is highly focused and open to suggestion. It is typically induced by a therapist or hypnotist through verbal cues and relaxation techniques. The person in hypnosis is in a heightened state of concentration, and their critical thinking and awareness of their surroundings are temporarily suspended, making them more responsive to suggestions for change. Hypnosis is widely used in various fields, including medicine, psychology, and entertainment. It has been found to be effective in treating a wide range of issues, such as addiction, anxiety, depression, and phobias, as well as in improving memory, reducing pain, and enhancing performance. It is important to note that while under hypnosis, the person is not unconscious or under mind control, they are aware of what is happening around them and can choose to accept or reject any suggestions given. Misconceptions about hypnosis there are several misconceptions about hypnosis that have been perpetuated throughout history. Some of the most common misconceptions include Hypnosis is mind control. Hypnosis is not a form of mind control, and the person under hypnosis is fully aware of what is happening around them. They are able to choose whether or not to accept any suggestions made to them. Hypnosis is only for entertainment. While hypnosis has been used in entertainment for centuries, it is also a widely accepted therapeutic tool used in psychology and medicine. You can't be hypnotized. The ability to be hypnotized varies from person to person, but most people can experience some level of hypnosis. People under hypnosis are unconscious. People under hypnosis are not unconscious, they are in a heightened state of concentration and awareness. Hypnosis is dangerous. Hypnosis is considered a safe and non-invasive therapeutic tool when performed by a trained professional. Hypnosis can make you reveal secrets or do things against your will. Hypnosis does not make you reveal secrets or do things against your will, it simply makes you more open to suggestions that align with your values and beliefs. It's important to be aware that hypnosis is a widely accepted and safe therapeutic tool when done by a trained professional. Misconceptions about hypnosis can lead to misunderstanding and mistrust of the practice and prevent people from seeking the help they need. Early Theories and Practices of Hypnosis The use of hypnosis as a tool for healing and self-improvement has a rich history that can be traced back to ancient civilizations. In ancient Egypt, sleep temples were used to induce trance-like states in patients to diagnose and treat illnesses. Similarly, in ancient Greece, the god of sleep, Hypnos, was believed to have the power to put people into a trance-like state. During the 18th century, Franz Mesmer developed the theory of animal magnetism, which claimed that a magnetic fluid flowed through the body and could be manipulated to heal illnesses. It was in the 19th century that James Braid, a Scottish physician, coined the term hypnosis and proposed the theory that it was a natural state of mind that could be induced through suggestion. He used hypnosis to treat various medical conditions, thereby laying the foundation for modern hypnosis. In the 20th century, hypnosis has been utilized in the fields of psychology, medicine and dentistry as a therapeutic tool, and in recent years it has been used for cognitive and behavioral therapy, pain management, self-improvement and sports performance. It's worth noting that the understanding and application of hypnosis has continued to evolve over time and it remains an area of ongoing research and discovery. Hypnosis in Modern Psychology Hypnosis in modern psychology is widely recognized as a powerful therapeutic tool. It is used to help people overcome a wide range of issues, including anxiety, depression, and addiction. A trained therapist or hypnotherapist will guide the person into a state of deep relaxation and heightened focus, making them more open to suggestions for change. 
In cognitive behavioral therapy, hypnosis is used to change negative patterns of thought and behavior. It has been found to be effective in treating phobias and improving memory. Additionally, hypnosis has been used in the field of pain management, as it has been shown to reduce the perception of pain and increase the effectiveness of other treatments. Anxiety and the use of hypnosis in treatment. Anxiety is a prevalent mental health issue, marked by excessive worry, fear, and discomfort. It can take different forms, such as generalized anxiety disorder, specific phobias, and panic disorder. The use of hypnosis as a treatment for anxiety has been extensively researched and found to be effective in reducing anxiety symptoms. Hypnosis can be used to alter negative thought patterns and behaviors, which can be particularly useful in treating anxiety disorders. It can help to reduce the severity of anxiety symptoms, such as worry, fear and physical sensations such as palpitations. It can also be used as a form of exposure therapy for phobias, where the person is gradually exposed to the feared object or situation while in a hypnotic state, thus helping them overcome their fear and decrease their anxiety. Furthermore, hypnosis can be employed as a self-help tool to teach people how to relax and reduce stress and anxiety through techniques such as progressive muscle relaxation, guided imagery, and self-hypnosis. It's important to keep in mind that hypnosis should be used in combination with other therapies, such as cognitive behavioral therapy, and should be performed by a trained professional. Research on hypnosis for anxiety treatment is still ongoing, and hypnosis is increasingly recognized as an effective tool in treating anxiety. Conclusion In conclusion, I hope you found this video on hypnosis informative and engaging. We've explored the various aspects of hypnosis and how it's used in modern psychology. It's a powerful therapeutic tool that can help people overcome a wide range of issues. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed learning more about hypnosis. Keep an eye out for our next video in the series, where we will be discussing the letter I and the topic of intelligence testing. Thank you again for watching and until next time.